The thing that happens with real estate agents many times is that they're, they don't feel like their family supports them. The next time you travel in an airport, walk up, don't do this at your gate. Walk up to another gate where the flight is delayed just a little bit. Just a little bit, okay? Walk up to the gate and do this. Just tap your foot, shake your head, look at the watch, look at the sign, cross your, cross your arms, look at your watch, shake your head, tap your feet impatiently. If you do this for about two minutes, what you'll notice is that the energy of the group around you will come down significantly. You will find that people will start to get impatient. You'll find that people will go to the, to the, to the uh, ticketing gate and ask about the status of the flight. What I really want you to get is that most human beings in our culture, mostly what we do is we react to stimulus coming at us. It's stimulus response, stimulus response. What I hope that you'll get out of this class what I hope that you'll get out of this time together is the importance of charting and creating your own trajectory in life. And that what you bring to every single occasion, to every single interaction, makes the difference. I have a practice every time before I come home and I pull into the driveway. As a matter of fact, I start thinking about it as I pull into my neighborhood. As I pull into my neighborhood, I think about what I'm grateful for in my role as a, I'm gonna get emotional, what I'm grateful for in my role as a dad. That's what I think about. How many of, have a, of us in this career as we're heading home are thinking about the thousand things that we should have got to today? How many of you do that? How many of you when you're driving home and you're driving into your garage, how many of you are thinking, oh, I, I still need to contact so-and-so, I still need to do this? How many of you do that? Now the problem is, is that you're carrying that frustration into your home. The thing that happens with real estate agents many times is that they're, they don't feel like their family supports them. It happens with real estate agents all the time. So you'll come home, you're, did you make a sale today? <sighs> right? How many of you have experienced that? It just crushes your soul. You think, have you made a sale today? Have you made a sale this week? Right? We've all experienced that. What I make a practice of doing is thinking about what I'm grateful for in my role as a father and a husband. And then I decide, later in this, uh, in this course, we're gonna do an exercise. I decide what the ideal father, what the ideal husband, what the ideal neighbor looks like, sounds like, and acts like. And then I do that. 